in a world that's full of games with constraints, you have one that where you can kind of just be or do anything. And that's refreshing. It's not something that other media can, can offer you, really. You occupy the same shared space that the Dungeon Master and the players are creating. You are a participant in a very real way because you are manufacturing the imagery as well. I like that everybody, like whether or not they intended to, I think everybody has defined a character that um, has more than a little bit of their own personality. And since we're already friends, I think it works out well. I was very excited to come up with my own character because I was a fan of Acquisitions Incorporated. Uh, and so then when they asked me to be a part of it, I thought, oh, here's a chance for me to create my own fan character and have it be part of the whole story. Dinar Blitzen. He's a dragonborn paladin. Her name is Rosie B. Singer. She is a halfling monk, way of the shadow. She loves the darkness, but only because you can see the stars better. So I'm playing him very similar to my own personality, which is uh, uh, braggadocious uh, and dumb. She's a big astronomer, as far as a halfling can be anyway. Um, and she's 120 years old and she's an ass-kicking granny uh, with a gigantic halfling family. She is incredibly intimidating and um, a delight for the senses. <laughs> I play Kathris Draub, which was a character that originally was never intended to be played because I do the um, animated intros for Acquisitions Incorporated at the live shows at PAX. I play Walnut Dongrass and she is a druid um, from the wilderness, but now she is making her way into the, uh, I guess, the urban environment that Acquisitions Incorporated takes place in um, for reasons unknown. I have to leave it there. <laughs> oh, he's great. Jerry is great, very poetic. He has a propensity for big words and very uh, floral descriptions of things, which is good. I, I have a lot of fun with it. This is that's right up my alley. So far, he is, in my opinion, the crown jewel of the production. I hope he can hear me. <laughs> He's just obsessed with lore in general, which is great because that's, that's what I want, is I want all that backstory. He is so creative. He is so supportive and energetic, and he's always right there with you. A lot of the story, at least for this first arc, is really just going into my main character in Acquisitions Incorporated's backstory, I mean, like every other nerd. I have spent way too much time figuring out, um, you know, that character's motivations and what he's about. And so, as a context for um, adventure, there's a lot of material that I can dig into there. I think he's interested in creating a story with other people uh, for the benefit of everybody. In this, there's a collaboration between the viewer, the player, and the storyteller um, that uh, really defines the experience, I think. Group chemistry is so important. It's, it's got to be people that you can trust to be a goofball around, and not in just the way that like you're trying to crack each other up all the time, but playing D&D playing &D and really enjoying it means becoming another person to some degree, and if you can be with a group of people who aren't afraid to role play with each other and like actually inhabit these these characters you're gonna have so much more fun so i guess my advice in this as in all things is don't don't give a fuck about what anyone else thinks of you and just have a good time hi i'm todd kenrick and this is dungeon life a brand new video series all about dungeons and dragons this means we'll have interviews with the creators of D&D, community spotlights, and also live streams of D&D games as well. Now this is all made possible by viewers like you and also our supporters on Patreon. Our Dungeon Life supporters on Patreon get early access to our videos, they get full length interviews, and lots of behind the scenes footage as well. This is what allows us to make these videos and to improve the quality of them, as well as reach a lot of our stretch goals concerning live streams and a whole lot more. We cannot thank the D&D community enough for all the incredibly kind messages you guys have been sending us. This is what keeps us going. We hope we can keep on doing a lot more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for your support.